won't come close to reimbursing his clients for the billions of dollars they lost, but the U.S. Marshal Service is now preparing to sell off Bernie and Ruth Madoff's collection of mansions and yachts. And first up is his $7 million oceanfront estate in the fashionable Hamptons on New York's Long Island. This is where the biggest con man in history spent his summer weekends. A four bedroom, three bath, 3,000 square foot beach house in the village of Monto. There is a understated elegance inside this house. And now it is the job of U.S. Marshal Roland Nubaldo and his colleagues to sell it. And they are firm on the price. Market value is $7 million, and that's what we're looking for. We're not looking for anything more, anything less. And for that, the new owner can live in the style Bernie and Ruth enjoyed for the last 25 years. It's not known if his massive crime cost him many sleepless nights, but it certainly gave him a nice view of the Atlantic Ocean. Left to right, nothing but ocean shoreline. Uh, as you can see, it makes it even prettier with the sh waves rolling in today from the storm. But uh, this is the view that they own from the master bedroom. Madoff's neighbors along the beach include Ralph Lauren and Robert De Niro and some of his own multi-millionaire victims. And Montauk was the setting for Madoff's yearly extravagant beach parties for his company employees with bonfires and lobster dinners as he and Ruth presided like royalty from their beach chairs. So we take up most of the hotels all over Montauk. He practically supported that town, I would say, once a year. And uh, we had a very good time. The dismantling of the Madoff empire includes not only the beach house in New York, but the waterfront mansion in Palm Beach, and the penthouse apartment in Manhattan. Ruth Madoff told someone close to her recently that she was glad to be rid of all her possessions, that she felt free now, no longer having to worry about keeping up with the demands of running three households. And Ruth is not just losing her three homes. Much of her jewelry and their art, even their Steinway grand piano and silverware will be up for sale by the U.S. Marshals who now become real estate agents, Robin. But as you said, not even coming close to reimbursing those that were cheated out of their life savings. Indictments coming up this week? Uh, next week, what? right after Labor Day, uh, some of the co-conspirators with Madoff are expected to be indicted by a federal grand jury here in New York. A lot of people still watching. Exactly. Brian, thank you.